So if you smoke, you know that tobacco can stain teeth, and I'm not a smoker, but I've seen it, and it's, that was attractive. But uh, what about vaping, though, Dr. Bilski? I mean, what's tobacco versus vaping? Does yeah. that have the same effect on teeth? So, well, let's, let's start from the beginning. You, you mentioned staining, you know, yeah. okay. I would be more worried about the internal organ damage that I'm having <laughs> yeah, from yeah, smoking yeah, or vaping yeah, than yeah. I am about staining. I can I can get the stain off your teeth. Yeah, okay. Or okay. my hygienist can get the stain off your teeth. So, but um, that's that's a good question about vaping in comparison to um, uh, regular tobacco products, um, smoking in particular. Um, many people, maybe even some dentists, don't realize that smoking a cigarette is a combustible. Uh, you're burning something and mm -hmm. you're drawing that into your body and there's like I think four or seven hundred seven thousand different types of chemicals yeah all right in vaping it's the same thing it's uh, there's there are chemicals in there the primary product that is the addictive part is the nicotine they're in their nicotine is in both cigarette smoking for this example and vaping okay vaping is you you take the um, the nicotine in from the crystal through an aerosol versus a combustible smoke that okay. you're, you're lighting up the syrup. So the facts are, the truth is, vaping is safer than smoking, okay? However, it, you know, we use an analogy all the time, would you rather die if I'm falling off a building or getting run over by a car? Yeah. The, the same end result, perhaps? No, that's extreme. Um, trying to keep it lighter than, than we should, maybe. Well, it's a re it's a reality, though. Yeah. I mean, and that's so if you are a cigarette smoker and you want to reduce the effects of nicotine and eventually break from it, um, physicians are are saying, yeah, vaping is okay. The research is saying it's less likely to damage. But what happens is with vaping, like anything, is a mechanical. You can. Um, boost up the charge that's in your vaping unit to increase the intensity of the nicotine aerosol that's coming <clears throat> And that's, that's what people are doing when they start, it's like, it's like smoking another pack of cigarettes you've been smoking. You, you might as well just double yep, up, up everything. Yep. Okay, so, um, and then what the hospitals are dealing with now, there are deaths from vaping, and it's, um, it's called Evali, and E-V-A-L-I. What that means is e-cigarette vaping lung injury that's how you die from vaping now in the in the report that i read there were 60 known death cases from somebody that wow. vaped they what they did was they they jacked up their smoking unit to get more of a whatever they get the yeah. nicotine yeah. rush and they ended up having a lung injury which created other organ damage and failure and, and unfortunately people they died yeah. all right so when we look at it as we're looking at nicotine from the standpoint of what it does to our bodies and our organs. We know that when you smoke a cigarette, nicotine goes into your system and it does take longer in my business for the gums to heal. So if you are a smoker and you're coming to our practice and we're doing an implant, dental implant, removing a tooth, putting an implant in, bone grafting, we're going to ask you to kindly request you give me two weeks of no smoking. We do the procedure and another two weeks after that, all right? That's tough for a lot of people. Uh -huh. Oh, real, sure. I'm realistic. I am not the guy that is going to judge you if you were a smoker. I'm not, I'm not doing no, that. No, me neither. But it's... as a, as a um, dentist, and if you ask me my um, clinical opinion and what's in the research, in 34 years of looking, again, this is an anecdotal, I see a lot of smokers are having worse problems with healing dry sockets. Pain intensity is greater with smokers on the same procedure than a non-smoker oh, no because kidding. the nicotine's in there. Would it, wouldn't have never even thought about that. Would have never even tied smoking to you, the, the health of your teeth even, you know, and, and the pain and everything you're talking about. Exactly, and it just takes a long time to <clears throat> heal. And then, you know, and, and smokers like, I know you're gonna beat me up on the smoking or we do a procedure and it's not coming out the way we want it to. And then they're saying, I doc, I couldn't. I, like they're apologizing. And, and the reality is I know they're probably going to smoke. I'm 
kindly requesting and recommending well, it's, they it's, don't. It's for their own good. I mean, you kind of make your own it, bed sometimes. It, you got to lie really in it, you know. Or... So I'm, I'm begging smokers out there, please come on in and see me. I promise I'll limit my lecture on the smoking. But if you ask about the vaping, that's why we're doing this. Smoking is not good for your teeth and gums and certainly the rest of your body. Vaping is safer. However, there's more that you can do to your body accidentally if you're one of those that you think you need to charge up your smoking unit and get that nicotine rush better. Now, I've never done vaping, you know, as a young man. Yes, I've tried cigarettes. Yes, I've had cigars. Yeah, you know, I, I've been there. It, I didn't like it. It just it's something. It's not I, everybody's it, cup of tea. I, I didn't like it, and then you know, now I'm a dentist, and I, I tell everyone not to smoke. But if you do smoke. It, let's let's go to the vape, and then after the vape, let's try to get you off of that. And hey, then, that that's great. They go in to get their teeth fixed, and who knows? And then the side effects is you're going to be healthier. <laughs> well, it's certain. No, they 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 go yeah. to, they may they may end up a little a uh, little healthier, living a better life, and everything. So, you know, we unfortunately have people that come in with mouth cancers, throat cancers, and every one of them is or even breast cancers for the women. We had one man that had breast cancer. Um, they're all smokers. In this case, every one of them have quit. Uh, knock on wood, they're doing fine and they're going to be fine. Uh, it's just scary when you're, when you're faced with, can you quit smoking to save your life? Why not do that? Yeah, I, I hear you. So better goodbye. Well, you know, maybe the other, uh, maybe more powerful motivation is if you can quit smoking so that your teeth aren't going to hurt so much during a procedure. Who knows? <laughs> maybe that's what will get somebody back. But hey, yeah. now you know why a, a dentist such as Dr. Bilski would request that you, you give up smoking, and not just for yourself, but for your, your teeth and the health of them and the, the health of recovering. See, and uh, you're right, and I, I think the, the best way to look at this is uh, if you're coming in to the office, my office, we're going to have a similar conversation like we're trying to do here in the next two, three, four minutes. Um, I, I don't know if all dental practices are created equally. I suggest they're not. I teach. We have the same discussions within our own uh, forums of doctors that we're teaching. We, at least if you came in, I would say, look, Randy, if you are smoking, I know you're not, but if you are, this is what I, I recommend. And this is, these are some of the situations that have occurred in my practice yeah. and how the patients reacted adversely. And we're trying to mitigate that so you don't have to have that conversation. Well, thank you so much for sharing, and, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed that and got some information out of it. And you can always get lots of great information from the other videos yeah. that Dr. Bilski puts out at BilskiDental.com. So check them out. Thanks.